With the news of Hall and Nash officially signing their WWF contracts in the past week with Hogan set to follow in the coming days, the WWF is set to kick off the road to WrestleMania 18 tonight with major buzz about their upcoming arrival a day after one of the biggest Royal Rumble pay-per-views of all time, with the company setting the stage for what is set to be one of the most intriguing runs in industry history on and off-screen in the next several months. With the story of the hierarchy status in the WWF locker room with the addition of some of the biggest game-changing political players in the business as talked about as anything planned for the TV storylines, with the expected clash of egos and political maneuvering already the most talked about issue in the business in what is said to be an unprecedented experiment with the biggest assembly of all-time great talent under the same roster the business has ever seen. With the majority of the biggest and most influential stars in wrestling history all set to attempt to coexist under the same company for the limited number of top spots available in a potentially explosive situation, and with Vince McMahon set to address the rumors later tonight Raw kicked off the post-rumble show higher than usual with a 4 rating for a Van Dam Taz and Spike vs Booker and Dudley six-man tag match followed by Chris Jericho coming out for a promo in the second quarter responding to the consensus thought of Rock beating him for the title at the Rumble set in the angle on SmackDown last Thursday to go into WrestleMania with the title, with Rock in an unprecedented situation for the top babyface in the business putting over Jericho for the third straight pay-per-view last night to pretty much single-handedly elevate him into a top main event player in the end of their four-month program bringing out Rumble winner Triple H for the first confrontation with Jericho since the injury last May to start the build-up to the now-planned Hunter vs Jericho undisputed title match at WrestleMania 18, responding to Jericho claiming to beat everyone in the company saying that he never beat him before challenging him to make it to WrestleMania with the belts to set up their title match, bringing out Rumble runner-up Kurt Angle to complain about having the match won before Hunter attacked him from behind to start a two-on-one beatdown followed by Rock running in to clear the ring in the build to the main event tag match with this segment picking up over 800,000 viewers. With them set to team up in the main event tonight and after the recent comparison to their hyped return numbers in the past six months, Rock and Triple H had another high-profile drawing power matchup last Thursday which saw the company give away Hunter's first televised match back in eight months on SmackDown teaming with Austin in the main event against Tangle and Booker, while Rock after being off Raw the previous night due to filming additional scenes for the Scorpion King making his TV return in an hour-long angle in the build to his title match against Jericho on the pay-per-view. Seeing Rock in segments with Austin Angle Hunter and Taker setting him up as their WrestleMania opponent with him the heavy favorite to win the title on Sunday, followed by a 15-minute segment of Rock first hyping up the Rumble match while shooting the crowd with the people's camera followed by the final Rock Jericho selling confrontation to close the first hour, with the Rock segment spiking big with over 1.7 million viewers to jump to over 7.7 .7 million viewers overall in the peak quarter of the night, outdrawing the Triple H match placed an hour later in the main event by around 500,000 viewers margin despite Hunter working his first match back since May 2001 in a big star power combination with Austin Angle and Booker with the show overall drawing the most watched SmackDown in over a month with 6.9 million viewers heading into the Rumble pay-per-view. Raw continued to pick up throughout the first hour having a Rumble pay-per-view rematch with Edge vs Regal going 5 minutes for the IC title to a 4.6 rating, and with the signing of the three original members of the NWO continuing the gradual arrivals of all the top WCW headliners following Ric Flair in November, 
leaving Bill Goldberg as the only major player currently under Time Warner contract with the deals of Sting and Steiner expiring in the past month. Goldberg while in a golf charity event was asked if he's going to follow Hogan Hall and Nash as the next top name to sign with the WWF in the near future, leading to Goldberg emphasizing again that he has no interest in starting negotiations with the WWF while criticizing the product saying that he would be an imbecile to give up half his guaranteed money to work for a company he didn't respect. With Ric Flair out next at 9.52 p.m. to a massive ovation from the hometown crowd in Greenville, South Carolina a day after making his in-ring return in almost a year to go over Vince McMahon. With Raw tonight coming from the same building as one of Flair's all-time career highlight moments in his memorable Nitro return in September 98, getting emotional from the crowd response in the middle of Flair country saying that he sacrificed everything for the business including important moments with his family to perform in front of crowds like them here tonight. Moving on to the Rumble match last night showing a picture his daughter took of McMahon during the match to bring him to the ring, and after no public acknowledgement by the company on the NWO buzz outside of subtle hints on the WWF website. Vince kicked off the angle with a cryptic message saying that both him and Flair lost last night at the Rumble as he's now forced to make a decision, saying that if he lost then every member of the WWF locker room is about to lose too as he's about to do something that even he himself might regret. Closing the promo in a cliffhanger with the NWO arrival now all but officially confirmed. As the Flair McMahon segment bumped Raw to a first hour high 4.8 trading with the finish seeing the McMahon hint taking place past 10 pm to maintain the 4.8 for the start of the second hour. With their Rumble match last night featuring several major returns with Kurt Hennig and Dustin Rhodes returning after years in different companies and Godfather and Val Venis being brought back in their original characters, Raw's second hour was focused on the returning names starting with Hennig after impressing with a strong performance in the Rumble working his first WWF match back in six years against Val in a high-profile spot at the top of the hour quarter going two minutes before Steve Austin interrupted to lay them both out in potential start of an Austin vs Perfect feud, with Austin going on to cut a comedic promo reciting the words of the Beverly Hillbillies song before announcing himself entering the 2003 Royal Rumble match in a promo more resembling a stand-up comedy routine to end with a big ovation from the crowd, with Raw featuring the Austin promo holding steady in its usual cold spot to maintain a 4.8 rating for the majority of the last 45 minutes. In a quarter also seeing a Kane and Big Show vs Billy and Chuck tag match in the Rock Triple H backstage confrontation hyping them teaming for one night in the main event. With Rock not scheduled to work any domestic house shows in the next two months due to his heavy road schedule of driving back and forth between the movie set to the WWF TV tapings, Rock will work his first non-televised match back since December in a unique event in Japan on a major tour in Asia starting on March 1, with the three-day tour which would see the WWF returning to Japan for the first time in eight years headlined by Rock making his debut in the country against Jericho in three main events, selling out the first day tickets were put on sale with a massive demand selling out the Yokohama Arena with over 16,000 tickets at near record time, with the crew on tour set to miss one Raw and Smackdown TV taping two weeks from WrestleMania in early March and with fireworks about to go off in the company with the NWO signing. 
Jim Ross was on the front line doing the explanations in every area as head of talent relations attempting to calm things down before the expected storm with him holding a conference call last Thursday dominated by NWO questions, again responding to worries about the political ramifications in the company saying that the WWF locker room has strong leaders that won't allow things to get out of control noting that they have to do what's best for business with the massive upside of the angle to spike numbers more important than any individual feelings, with JR outside of the majority of the NWO questions noting that he also had conversations with Rey Mysterio recently with him expected to come in after the brand split to head up an expected cruiserweight division on one of the brands, while also hyping up OVW wrestler Randy Orton who is expected to be brought in after the initial draft with Orton as the second third-generation wrestler in history after Rock along with Brock Lesnar as perhaps the two top prospects targeted by the company as future main event players with them already working regular dark matches on the road for months to prepare them for the call to the main roster in the near future, with Orton a day earlier at the OVW tapings on Wednesday announcing that it would be his last appearance in the territory with him being called up full-time to the WWF roster while working his final OVW match on the show with him putting over prototype John Cena later in the night. The entrances for The Rock and Hunter vs. Angle and Jericho main event took place from 10.55 p.m. with the match kicking off seconds from 11 to go the full 8 minutes into the overrun, with Raw's second hour on the night doing a 4.8 rating, averaging over 6.5 million viewers in one of the most watched hours of Raw in the past 6 months with the main event tag match jumping over 700,000 viewers to the peak of the night 5.1 rating with the match which also saw Hunter working his first match on Raw since May of last year in a rare situation with both him and Rock teaming on the babyface side, seeing Rock getting his win back to pin Jericho with the Rock bottom for the finish, starting the road to WrestleMania with a 4.6 rating overall with major developments coming out of the McMahon promo set for the SmackDown taping tomorrow night.